you see she is holding what looks like a measuring stick. <laughs> okay. And essentially, Stone just got slapped by a nun's ruler. <laughs> for four damage. Stone looks at her and says, you know what? I will take this as my chance to walk away. <laughs> Could be wise to do that. Uh, uh, so I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> and just kind of pouts and walks back to the group. Swift to death. Dying from measuring stick isn't my way to go as a dwarf. We're already got an issue with our height. <laughs> that could be taken from so many ways, but I'm going to be mature and move on. She turns, places her hand over the gate, and slowly starts to open, revealing, guess what, another gate. Wait, is it like right next to it, or? Oh, no, no, it's, it's okay. about 15 yards off. Oh, no. What if this is my trial and I have to impress the next one, too? You're you didn't it. even impress the first one! I did, she didn't kill me, so I count that as a win. <laughs> He oh, slapped God. you with a ruler. <laughs> I got my ear cut off earlier. At this point, I got nothing to lose. Besides the other ear. <laughs> I just... Your dignity, for one. What dignity? So are we, in, are we into the main area, like, uh, church area now? And we're just get This gate's into one of the two churches, or...? It's at the last. It's at the last gate. There are two armed guards. These are, these are actual paladins. You can tell by looking at them. They're either paladins or knights. Um, Stone just kind of hides back behind Arist. <laughs> I'm not gonna make eye contact with any of the paladins. <laughs> I looked Arist. Like, I am not flirting with these guys. Wait. <laughs> They look at Pizba inquisitively, and one of them very tentatively raises his hand to wave back before <laughs> She gets really excited to see the wave. <laughs> Fizzbop's adorable. <laughs> of course Fizzbop's adorable. No one likes the, you know, drunken dwarf, but everyone likes the small gnome. Of course. The small gnome isn't a gigantic asshole. <sighs> As the as the final gate opens, I'm glad that was not full. <laughs> he just knocked my Red Bull over. <laughs> as the gate as the gate opens, you're able to actually see the temple. Well, both of them. They're a small. They're a short distance away from each other. Each front door is only a stone throw away, and they're actually- No, <laughs> shut up. I love this name. <laughs> they, actually they actually do conjoin at certain points, but there are two very clearly marked entrances, both, all of which, both of which are actually guarded by, <laughs> guess what, more paladins. Uh, I... Sorry. Oh, go ahead. I say, uh, out of curiosity, are um, are the dragon statues like any closer to inspect? I'm not I'm not trying to break them or anything. I just want to know what they whether you know what they look like. They are. They're about forty feet overhead. Oh, okay. Never mind then. That kind of <laughs> gets my second question. They're on top. They're on top of the buildings. Oh, okay. Um, and if you actually look up, the sa the one filled with sapphire is. One second. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, the one of Sapphire is filled with lightning. Lightning? The em yeah. The emerald is filled with fire. Um, I'm going to turn to... Oh, sorry. It's just kind of whirling around inside the both decks. I'm a... hanging from the mouths of and hanging from the mouth of each statue is a long chain that's holding one man in stasis over the rope. Man in gray robes, gray hair. He appears to be an elf. Mm -hmm. 
Um, can I take a closer look at this elf? Well, you can. S How close are you intending on getting? I just want to see if I, if I look at him if I, he looks familiar at all. Well, remember he's hanging by the he's hanging suspended from chains coming out of the two statues now. Okay, I'm gonna look to the priest then in front of us and ask uh, if who the guy is that's hanging. He is a heretic. That's all you need to know. And okay. this is a live person hanging. Yes, he's very much alive. Okay. Um, I have a, my second question uh, for you, priest. Um, if say I'm not saying this would happen, but say if like a cave in ever happened and one of those like uh, statues broke, wouldn't it release what's inside of them? Potentially. Okay. Good to know. I'm just kind of concerned that you, someone might get electrocuted in here if one of those things accidentally cracks. Well, I'm sure that's what you're concerned about. <laughs> well, it's the best way of saying it without trying to convince them to kill me, so, you know. If one of those statues cracks, the lives of everyone here are the least of the world's concerns. Are, are, they, oh. are they blessed objects or something? They are. Oh, good to know. I take it as something to do with the god they represents live span of some sort. If they are the guardians of the temple, should all other defenses fail, these two will watch over the worshippers. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Golem. Well, I have another question, but that I'm going to save for later, because I feel like if I ask it in the middle of a church, I'll probably, you know... I don't want to be hung by chains, let's just leave it at that. I'm a curious person. I'm wondering if it's curiosity or a death wish, I'm not entirely sure which. I think it's both, to be fair, because um, I enjoy writing characters, but at the same time... <laughs> it is a curious question. Really can't. <laughs> Alright, well. You're standing between two temples and then you're free to go into either one of them. Alright, um, I take it, if I remember correctly, the green one, Simizok, right? Yes. Uh, I start walking that way as uh, least menacing as possible as I can. Okay, I would like. It's not very hard. Tell me if I need to roll anything for this, but I would like to find out if. or see if I could tell if there would be anywhere around here that would sell arcane scrolls of any kind. Or if they'd all be uh, divine. I don't think you'd have to roll, but pretty much there's nothing with arcane scrolls. What you will find... I'll let you roll knowledge religion to, to determine what you would be able to find. Okay, if you let me roll that. No you... harm in just rolling knowledge at every opportunity. <laughs> Someone other than myself should yell up at the heretic gay magic and see if he responds. I want to find out if it's him. <laughs> he responds by glowing pink. Well, I'm afraid to ask because I don't want the priest to take it some another way and then turn around and like chop my head off. So <laughs> I feel like I'm on thin ice as is. You don't say. Just a hint I'm getting from this. Okay, I only got a 14 on my knowledge religion. What, what did you say, Ernest? I only got a 14 in knowledge religion. Okay, so I'll be so you'll be able to determine this. They don't have arcane scrolls, but they do have uh, Librum uh, scrolls and rods used to cast um, like lightning bolts, fireballs, uh, minor okay. healing spells. But I assume about... those would be divine magic then. Yeah, those are divine. Okay. Each one is is an uh, invocation of the two gods there. Right, figured. Um, just a quick thing, I'm going to also turn around real quick, go grab Fizzbop, pick her up, and start putting her in front of me like a shield when I walk towards the paladins. <laughs> and just whisper into her, her ear, they like you, I don't want to die. <laughs> she looks confused, but she'll tolerate it. She'll tolerate it. Well, it's like I'm grabbing her by her shoulder, so... Oh, okay. The gates are opening behind them. We're coming back up. We're coming back into... We're coming into the temple, rather. Okay. 
Uh, Helen's look confused as a dwarf carrying a gnome is approaching. <laughs> and if I recall correctly, hiding behind another dwarf. Oh, not anymore. Now I'm hiding behind a uh, gnome. Oh, okay. Basically. He's, I thought this was got becoming a, small a meat shield. Line. Oh, no, I wouldn't let Fizzbop die. Thaden would kill me. What was that? <laughs> but wait, no, she's a dead. Oh, wait. No, I was asking Kyle what that. Oh, I said, I'm not gonna let Fizzbop die. I don't want Thaden to kill me. <laughs> yeah, that would be very bad. Thaden is looking on with abject confusion and annoyance. <laughs> I just kind of smile back at him as I keep walking to the temple. Hey Kyle, roll reflex. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, I was gonna say no. shit, really? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the whole place just explodes, you're all dead. <laughs> they cross their, we cross their weapons over the door, look down. I'm- the one on the left closes his eyes, tilts his head to one side. I'm filled with many questions. Okay, what's the first one? <laughs> Why are you being used as a shield? Because he's shy. Stone just nods his head. <laughs> shy or a coward? Stone. This is a temple for war. We're not following cowards here. Isn't that a coward? Okay. <laughs> Stone speaks up says, Well, to be honest, I've had my ear chopped off today. I've been exploded three times. I've been electrocuted. Um, and I've been smacked, had my nose broken. Since I've come to this country, I have felt nothing but, you know, death and pain. So, you can understand if I'm, you know, walking into a church that I don't currently follow, if I use someone who does follow it as, um, a speaker on my behalf so I don't end up getting killed again. Quill pipes up from the back and she's like, that was all your fault, though. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, he's not being a coward, he's just exercising caution. Right. Do you follow this religion? Of course. You realize that we will not put you to death for not following. You are welcome, even if you worship other gods. Well, I'm more of a merchant, so I'm not, you know, a priest. But it's impossible not to. Very well. Hey, uh, second question. What is your reason for coming to the temple? This is a question that we ask everyone. Stone's keeping his mouth shut and just letting Fizzbop talk. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit of a refresher. It's, uh, one, it's to get Stone healed the rest of the way. Because he's not been very bright. Um, the other one is to see if they can find anybody to copy the tattoos. And the other is, I believe, for disguises. Uh, well, we were trying to get the tattoos put on us so that way it would disguise us. That was the point. Yeah. So, yeah, you can throw that. Yeah, I will mention that. <laughs> the... First of all... Friend needs help, and we need some because we are helping their issue. The two exchange glances before uncrossing their weapons and push the door open. Keep your voices down. Do not bother any of the people praying. Do not touch any of the weaponry. And make sure he continues to exercise caution. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna continue to kind of push this pop in front of me. For heaven's sakes, just stop touching each other. You, you look pathetic. Stone just looks at the guy and kind of smiles and keeps going through and walks through. 
Oh, goodness. Those are my joints. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, I should go through. Bad end is following. Yeah. Might as well. Oh, Thayden was out there with the... What's his name? Pay attention, he came back inside. Mm. Mm-hmm. Or he came inside, though. Okay. He came back. So, I, I guess I'm going to look for uh, some sort of priest that would be, like, healing someone at the time, or uh, anybody doing medical procedures in the church. Alright, once you enter the temple's built in a rather odd way. Mm-hmm. The, main, the main room is a large circle that has an altar at one, cor- at one corner with very fancy rugs just spread out. There are people kneeling on them with their heads almost touching the floor. Um, mm-hmm. The other conjoint, there are three other conjoining rooms. Those are closed. There's one that has, that's filled with beds, bandages, wash bins, and there are priests and priestesses moving about, tending to wounded in the sick. There's, you could actually see one or two lepers in there. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to avoid the lepers. The next one has a series of forges. All of them are set ablaze with green reptilian humanoids working the met- working various metals, hanging weapons up, just kind of calling out orders to each other in hushed voices. Hmm. And the last one just seems to be more of a meditation area. Uh, okay, so... Instead of a nice, calming water garden, it's kind of a fountain of magma. So, I'm not going in there. Um, I guess... There are places that are away from it, but... Well, unless I want to dip my head in and hope it heals my ear, you know, I think that would be probably a good idea to stay away. Um, Cauterization. (laughs) To the extreme. Um, I guess I'll go... Nothing. I, I said. I guess I'll go towards you know the. You said the first one was full of like lepers and whatnot. Oh, full. Of, for, it, it's a healing area. There are a few lepers, but it's not filled with lepers. Okay, I was gonna say that's. I'm, I guess I need to go get healing somewhere else. Um, all right. I go ahead and uh, kind of come in and go and see if I can't get one of them to uh, heal me. I guess I just walk up to the nearest one I can find. All right. Very well. Um, you see a ra- you see a rather gaunt man. Looks rather young for an elf. More than likely, just a low-level acolyte. He looks down to stone. Just immediately, his eyes go wide as saucers. A hand comes to his mouth. What happened to you? What did you offend? Oh. Funny story. Um. I got in a fight with some iron bars, then some chains that I apparently co- was not supposed to be able to break, but I was able to, and that I le- decided to electrocute me. And, let's see, th- I also pissed off a guard inside the royal palace, or ca- lord's castle, and I pissed off one of your guards. That kind of sums it up without going into too much detail. How? Well, you see... I'm incredibly in cunning. I feel that your answers will only perplex me more. Come sit down, I'll, I'll tend to your wounds. I trust you've already paid with steel. Yes, unfortunately. Very, very well, I'll, I'll tend to your wounds. He sits you down very tenderly to care of all the wounds, kind of seals the ear shut with magic that is rather uncomfortable, as in searing hot. I say Stone doesn't like magic around him at all, so that, you know, fair enough. Well, this is. It feels like all of his wounds are being cauterized at once. Is now, he sealing the ear shit, or is he just sealing the wound? No, that's just how it feels. Okay. But you're full. You're at full HP. You hurt like hell, but you're at full HP. I smile and uh, put up my hand for a handshake and thank him. First, he covers his hand with a, 
with a handkerchief before shaking Stone's hand. I would normally take that as an insult, but I will. Since you did such wonderful work, I'm going to walk away from this. He, he smiles, bows his head. Pardon, I am incredibly fastidious. Fair he turns and starts going to tend to other people, distinctly avoiding the lepers. So am I. Because <laughs> that's the last thing I need right now. <laughs> Leprosy! Congratulations, you're never. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I can't. I know it would go first just because you would get enjoyment out of my pain from it. Um, I would. <laughs> I come out and look at the to the others and ask, um, so, we need to find out information about getting those tattoos put on me, I take it, because I'm guessing none of you want to go walk in head first into the enemy's territory. Well, it wouldn't be the last thing. They could burn it into us. Yeah, because that Man. sounds like such a great idea. I, I don't I don't think we want to get blame anywhere near you. It smell like that the second somebody lit a tender twig, you'd go up and fire. Just a massive blaze. Funny the story. No, I don't want to I don't want to fucking hear it. I think that's an argument to go near fire. <laughs> um out of curiosity, just looking at the forge, um, are they like melting down any of the weapons that they've like gathered? Does is that what it looks like, or? No, uh, it looks like there's actual pallets of raw metal, like ores, um, ingots, and they're those are what are being melted down and melt not melted down, but being shaped into weapons. Um... If you actually look and pay very close attention. You can see that they're handling all the molten, well not molten, all the red hot metal with their bare hands. Um, so, to try and get some just general knowledge on their work, um, can I like watch them for a few seconds to see if I can kind of get an idea of what they're doing? Like, uh, gen like a general idea if there's anything special about what they're working on? Absolutely. In fact, um, do a do perception check as you're watching them. Okay. I didn't learn shit because I got a natural one. Oh, better to get it now. Well, I can roll it all because this up will be looking around for. Uh, well, are, are you going to be paying special attention to the uh, work in the forge? Or? Yeah, because it's the only area that looks like it's got crappy stuff. Okay. Uh, do you want to use your dice? Oh, I'm saving that for the first battle. Oh, you're saying so you're going to use my dice. Okay. Oh, let's find your perception. <laughs> oh, Congratulations. Bitbub just rolled a natural 20 watching these blacksmiths work. Great spot. Uh, plus eight. <laughs> plus eight. So, congratulations. You actually gain an actual plus one to actually get plus two to appraise. Oh. Um. Hmm. Hit it harder. There we go. What? Sorry. I'm commenting on people working on Olivia's roof. Yeah. Uh, and just watching, she's actually gotten a plus four on blacksmithing and a plus two on appraise. And plus that's an additional gain. Hmm. Fair enough. What are they making? They're making <laughs> all sorts of weapons. The, um, You've actually, I'll actually discuss with you in greater detail, like some of the techniques that they're using. Just remind me, okay? Um, because it's something that could actually come in really good use. Okay. Um, but they're making daggers, swords, just weapons in general. 
I take it they probably wouldn't appreciate if I went up and tried to pet them to find out what their scales feel like. Knowledge Arcana? I will find out. No. no. I'd like to roll Knowledge Arcana to see if there's any sort of magical chicanery going on with the actual smithing process. If there's any magic going on with the um, smithing process? Correct. Could you move closer to the mic? I, can, I can't hear you at all. Sorry, I was outside because it's boiling inside the RV. Uh, oh. All right, let me roll for Arcana then. See if there's right. any magic going on. Uh, 11 plus 11, 22. There is no magic. It is pretty much all... They're handling the metal with their bare hands as natural. It's no, There's no magic involved in it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not petting them if they can carry fucking magma shit in their hands. Okay, I'm good. Because <laughs> if I scare one of them and that lands on me, there goes all the healing and that priest probably won't heal me again. Uh, what, what sort of role do you want to make, man? I want to look for someone who uh, appears not busy and perhaps a little more meek than is nearby. Uh, are you looking at or near the people meditating? And for like a priest, or are you looking for one smiths? I'm looking. Is there anyone just walking around, or are they all designated? There are a few. There are a few people just kind of walking around. There's uh, there's one of those bulking reptilian women walking around. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of priests just talking to one another. A couple of civilians moving towards the meditation area. Okay, I will look among them and see if any of them look. Non-threatening. If you crit, you can find out the secret. Stone is not uh, is very meek, apparently. Aww. That wasp was having issues. Yeah. 